I think, you know, looking back, I think I've probably known for a while. Um, a lot of it was just making sure that I didn't say anything too soon. I want to make sure that I can get into training and then, you know, change my mind and still want to play. Um, so looking back, I think I've, I've, I've probably known for, for a long time, but it wasn't until, you know, not too long ago that, that it was completely clear that it wasn't going to be um, anything more. So what was the deciding factor then? I mean, given your level of play last year and all that, I mean, you well, said you felt pretty well physically and all. Yeah, um, I, I, f I felt actually really good last year. Um, and and body-wise, I felt my, I was, I felt like I was able to, to move better than I had previous few years. Uh, the few years before that, um, I think I kind of struggled a little bit through the whole years, uh, to be honest with you. Last year, I, I felt more like I could still do this. Um, and I think that was probably, you know, just, just I think that gave me some peace, I guess, that you know, I, I know that I can do this, uh, but there are other things in life. Uh, I think there's a time for everything, and I just think it's time. Uh, it, it's time for me to, to see my kids a little bit more than I have. Uh, they're at an age now where there will be more activities, and I'm very excited about that. Um, and for the team as well, I, I, I think it was time. What was the reaction from your family when you told them, this is it, I'm, I'm, I'm telling everybody I'm retiring? Um, I think everyone has probably known for a while. I think even just going back to last summer, um, I went into the last season thinking that it was definitely going to be the last one. Uh, I didn't even dream that, you know, the potential of playing another year was even going to be on the table. Um, so that was obviously very humbling. Um, and like I said, I, I, I felt pretty good last year. Um, you know, it was frustrating that we didn't have a better record than we did. Um, but in saying that, in, in despite that we didn't have all the points that we wanted, I uh, still felt like the team took strides. I thought we had a large number of guys that took step in the right direction as far as their own development. Um, our young kids did great. Um, so it's it was encouraging. Um, so obviously not the, not the record that we wanted, uh, but I was still encouraged by, by the level of play from, from a lot of our young guys. You talked in your message with the team that you released yesterday, just how much family did mean to you and parents setting aside time and patience from everybody from young to old in your family seeing you get emotional there what makes this decision so emotional at this time in your life well i think it's it's you know there's so many things that go into it um it's you know it's what i know it's what i've done for the past you know it's been my profession for the past you know 20 years 21 years um but i've been playing hockey my whole life um so that part of So in a way, I guess it's it, it was a hard decision, but at the same time it wasn't, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, hard in the sense that, like I just said, it's it's what I do, it's who I am. Um, but um, in saying that, you know, I'm, I'm excited for the future as well. Wouldn't you tell Stevie and Blash how long have they known and <laughs> they try to... You know, talk you out of it or just give you a lot of time or anything? No, no it, that's something I'm very thankful and, 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 and grateful that, um, you know, they gave me the time and space that I, that I needed. Um, and, you know, basically just 
take your time, do what you need to do, and, and, and let us know. Uh, they known for a little bit, um, and you know, I'm, I'm thankful for, for giving me that time, giving my family that time. And uh, yeah, here we are. Have you talked in detail uh, yet with Steve about just your, your new role? Uh, is that still to be sorted out? Or yeah, that nothing, nothing yet in detail. Uh, I'm very excited. Um, I don't know exactly what it's going to look like, um, and that's I'm super excited to. I just I feel like I, I have a good perspective of things around the ice. Um, when it comes to hockey, I'm excited to learn a different side of the game, uh, behind the scenes, what goes into different decisions and scouting players. I think it, there's a lot out there, um, and I'm looking forward to to getting to to work with these guys again. You know, when I came here, Stevie was here, Chris Strape was here, uh, Cleary was here, um, and Hork. I, I didn't get a chance to play with him, but I know him from from uh, skating with him and through the years. So uh, Maltby. Fisher, there's a lot of guys that I, I, you know, I learned from a lot when I came into the game, and now I'm very much looking forward to learning more from them on the other side of the game. Some more, man some more management, some more management than whose idea was the job? Well, you know, talking with Steve, uh, you know, basically it was something in the line of, you know, if if you won't be playing, then what would you like to do? And, uh, and I said something, I'd like to stay within hockey, and here we are. Will you be based here? In the yes. So more management than on ice. You're not talking about coaching or anything like that. I don't see myself doing too much on the ice. Um, you know, I, I, I talked to uh, Doug Huda, the assistant coach. Uh, we got a good relationship. and um, You know, whatever, if there's anything that he would need. Um, I'll be around, so you know. I don't know if that's going to come something out of it, but I'll be around, and I look forward to whatever uh, there is to learn out there. Last summer, when you were thinking, I mean, you've been struggling, and you thought we're hoping to get one more year in. How different did you expect today to be? To have actually having it ended with that decent season where you could play a little better than you thought you were going to do. I don't know if I've really thought about it, to be honest with you. Um, you know, like I said last summer, you know. Like I knew this is going to be hard regardless. Um, there, there's a lot, a lot of things I'm going to miss. Have you thought much about your whole career and everything that you've accomplished yet? Have you had that time to reflect yet? I don't know if I've ever really spent too much time on that. I think that's something that that guys do as they get older. Um, you know, you're you're so caught up in everything. They're just focusing. You know, if it's summer training, you got to prepare for the next season, or you're preparing for next game, or you're always on your way somewhere. Um, but you know, it's been an amazing run. Uh, I've been fortunate and lucky to be on the right teams in the right uh, situation uh, with coaches that believed in me, gave me a chance. Um, so I've been lucky and fortunate uh, in a lot of different ways, uh, and I'm extremely thankful for. For getting to be a part of this ride. Is there any particular teammate and former teammate that you talked to about making this decision? I mean, it's only been a year since and we're going through it, or anybody you leaned on? Or? I don't know if I've leaned on anybody necessarily, but I've talked to to a few other guys, no doubt, absolutely. Anyone in particular? Anyone? Well, I mean, Hank, obviously. Um, Spoke to Gus and and uh, the Big E that are probably my 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 closest guys uh, that I've known for years. Um, so it's probably the three of them that I've talked to the most. There was talk at the end of last year near the deadline that there was a possibility you could be moved to to finish the year and play with somebody else. How much did you entertain that in your mind? How much was that a conversation that you had to have with Ken? And looking back now at the whole process, what do you what did you make of all that? Well. Um, you know, Ken approached me, uh, asked what I'd like to do, if there was, if, if I wanted to go somewhere, um, 
and you know I, I owe Ken Holland so much You know, he had the respect. Um, he came to me and asked me what I wanted to do. I think a lot of a lot of GMs probably just would have done would have what would have been best for the for the team and for the organization uh, in the long run. And whether you get a pick or whatever that might be, um, but you know, again, just just another another thing that stands out for me for how he treated me over the years. Is that something you had any interest in? Okay. No, not, a, not at all, to be honest with you. Uh, I think if we didn't win here in 08, it might have been different. Uh, I'm pretty sure it would have been different. But, you know, I got to be a part of, of, of something there in 08 that was very special. I'll never forget. Um, and to me, being a part of, of one organization, this is an original six franchise. That there's so much around it. It's more than hockey. Uh, you know the people, the fans. There's, there's, there's just so much around it um, with this, with this team um, that I wanted to stay. I wanted to see this through, uh, and I wanted to play my whole, my whole career for this, for this franchise. And I'm happy I got that opportunity. Did you know April sixth? I mean, did you have a good feeling that was your last game? Or I think look, looking back, I think a part of me knew. I knew for for a fact that I felt like this could have been the last one. Um, I don't think it was 100%, but looking back, uh, it, the signs were there for sure. Did the possibility of you know, reaching 1,000 games, did you think at all about that? that yeah, of, of course I did. Uh, there were a lot of things, you know, again, being around the guys, you know, those sort of things that, they're gonna miss. Would have hit a thousand? We don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that something that's gonna change anything. I always looked at a thousand personally, something extremely special. I always had so much respect for guys that have played a thousand games. Uh, I wish I would have played a thousand games. Um, but at the same time, the situation is what it is, and I felt, I feel at peace with the decision. Uh, I know it's the right call, um, and you know I'm happy for the guys that have reached a thousand. Unfortunately, I won't. Will we see you in a ton of alumni games, or just the, the sticks? <laughs> Does that go in the garage for good? I, I, no, I don't think it goes in the garage for good. Uh, I don't know how much you'll see me skating, but I, I don't know. I haven't even thought about it to be honest with you. I, I you know, I still love the game. It's it's, it's a special game. Doesn't it look like it's coming up at the Tower City? Do you think? Yeah. <laughs> I uh, again, like I haven't even. I Can haven't. Even, there, I will be up there absolutely. Oh, is it going to be sitting in the corner in a black jacket and not? And taking notes. Yeah, yeah it's going to be very very different. Uh, absolutely, but again, like I'm I'm very much looking forward to learning as much as possible, uh, seeing how things are run. Uh, and finding my own own way through this. This is an impossible question. What do you think or hope your legacy will be? How will be remembered here? I don't know. I think you're gonna. I don't. I think stuff like that is for for other people to decide. Uh, I don't think I. I don't want to speak for how other people are gonna. You know. Uh, view me as a person or player or whatever. Um, you know, I think all through the years you try to be a, a good teammate and, and, and work hard. I think everything, regardless of what you do in life, I think everything comes back to that. Has the last three years been kind of tough? I mean, you, when you came in here, I mean, this organization was at such a level there now. You know, these last three years have been kind of tough. Has that kind of dragged down you a little bit? No, of course it has. I think, it's ha I, I think it has on everybody. 
like you said, we he used we used to be one of the powerhouses, and we were for so many years. And I got to be a part of some of those years. Um, but yes, it's been frustrating. There's there's been some tough times. There's no doubt about it. Um, but it should be tough when you're losing. You can never be, never be satisfied if you're losing. It, it's it's pretty simple. Now I do think that there's a lot of good pieces in here. I, I think we're going to surprise a lot of teams this year. Um, there's a lot of good pieces. Hopefully, guys can keep taking steps in the right direction. Uh, and we got some people in the in the pipeline that are very exciting. Um, so we're going to get back there. Um, you know, is, is it going to take some time? It might, but we are definitely getting back there. Sounds like a lot of Swedes when they retire and they. Back to that tax haven called Sweden. <laughs> what made uh, what made you decide you want to stay over there? I don't know. There, there are a lot of things that appeal to us here in Michigan. You know, our, our kids are born here. Uh, they have their you know their friends here. Uh, they have their schools here. It's it's a good system to be a part of. Um, and again, getting a chance to, to work with with the Detroit Red Wings that have that have meant so much to me. Um, I'm thrilled for the opportunity. So that kind of maybe ease the emotion of retiring it? Or I think so, definitely. No no question about it. It won't be a, a hard cut off from everything. Um, you get to keep the car. Do I? I don't even know if I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had a tough time getting in this morning. <laughs> but no, but I, you know, I still get to be a part of this. Um, and I'm excited for, for the for the challenge. Uh, I know everything comes back to again hard work uh, to prove you're worth the shot. And you know, I'm excited to get started.